A branchial neck cyst is essentially a congenital mess, which means that your daughter uh, was born with it. So just imagine that when your daughter was developing in a womb, the head and neck is actually developed from a system of uh, branchial arches and clefts. So when the system fails to uh, develop correctly or fails to uh, disappear at birth, a patient then thereafter can have a cystic swelling, which means a swelling that can occur anywhere around the neck or around the ear. Or some patients can have a problem of a discharging pit or sinus, uh, which doesn't disappear. So if uh, your daughter has a branchial cyst, it normally is somewhere in the front of the neck or around the ear. It can be uh, small or it can be slowly growing. Sometimes it can give signs of infection such as pain, needing uh, antibiotics or even requiring uh, drainage of the cystic contents. Um, in some other patients, it may be uh, relatively stable. Uh, it may be asymptomatic and the cyst can be quite small as well. So diagnosis of a branchial cleft cyst requires two things in a form of imaging such as a CT scan or MRI scan. Um, this is required for proper surgical planning as well as a preliminary kind of uh, imaging to look at the cystic location, the size of the cyst, and whether uh, it is close to neighboring structures and important structures in the neck uh, or in the ear. Sometimes they have communication tracks such as uh, uh, sinus tracks, uh, which communicates the cystic swelling uh, with other important uh, structs, uh, structures or glands in the head and neck. Um, Cytology-wise, a fine needle aspiration cytology can be performed. This means that in clinic, a needle is actually inserted into the swelling uh, to obtain some samples. Um, this is essentially to exclude um, other head and neck diagnosis and actually cancer before uh, advocating any uh, form of management. So for the treatment of branchial cyst, commonly it really depends um, on what your patient uh, your daughter, for example, uh, presents with. If it is actually quite big, it is cosmetically very visible, um, it is painful, she had previous signs of infection, um, then I would probably um, advocate um, surgical removal. This means that uh, essentially this swelling is not going to disappear. Um, surgery is needed to completely uh, remove the cyst as well as um, any communication tracks that we can see. Some patients may choose to leave it alone, especially if um, the cyst is not going to give them any problems or it has been stable for many years.